Hello and welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we're looking at the Captain Carter six scale figure by Hot Toys from Marvel Studios What If. We begin our look at the figure by taking a look at the box and right there on the front Captain Carter herself proudly holding the shield with a stern and determined look. Other characters from the What If galaxy adorn the box. The slipcover lifts off to reveal a window box and our figure inside. On the back of that inner box is going to be the figure photographed in an action pose. Let's take the figure out of the box and see how it's laid out in the tray. With the top cover removed, we have our figure inside, the magnetic swap out hairpiece, the Union Jack shield, sword, her pistol, attachments for the shield, swap out hands, additional wrist pegs, and underneath the figure, her display base. Now let's take all of these pieces out and get a better look. Here we have everything out of the box. Our beautiful Captain Carter figure, shield and sword, swap out hands, alternate hair, sidearm, and shield attachments. Right now, let's fly in and get a better look at the beautiful design of this Captain Carter figure. We begin our look at the figure with the portrait. And the portrait has an almost porcelain-like look that we saw in the show with just a hint of texture with bright eyes and those bright red lips and a very determined look in the eye. The hair has those swoops, curves that we saw in the animated style and the portrait also features an interchangeable magnetic hair plate that goes onto the back of the figure giving us multiple options on the look. Working our way down, the Union Jack featured on the front of the figure has perfect tight stitching and a raised element design on it. The two shoulder pieces are going to be sculpted in a harder plastic that gives her that armor that she needs for battle. Working our way down on the waist of the belt as well as on the gloves, this is a sculpted and painted leather-like look. The pouches are permanently sculpted in a closed design. In addition to the relaxed hands that come on the figure, we have a pair of fists, two different hands for holding the weapons, and a right hand for holding the sidearm. Working our way down to the front of the pant, we have the two front pockets that are going to be buttoned shut, as well as hints of red and little armor panel design throughout. That leather that we saw on the gloves and the belt is also going to be done on the spats and the boot. The spat gives us a cut design on the boot that's going to give us a bigger range of motion. And there on the side of each boot is going to be buckles holding those spats nice and tight. On the back of the figure and around the arms is going to be the harness that holds the shield. This is all done in sculpt and paint and as the bright silver they're holding the straps together on the back. The small hook included with the figure will slip over this and holds the shield so the shield can lay right along the back of the figure. Now it's time to take a look at the articulation on the Captain Carter figure. The neck of the figure has two points of articulation. The top allowing us to turn the head right to left as well as tilt and lean forward back side to side. The lower part of the neck allows us to extend that forward thrust even further. The shoulders of the figure can extend outward, straight forward, and back. The elbow bends to 90 degrees. A cut bicep allows us to move the arm out and in. And a roller wrist peg design allows us to move the hand in multiple ways. With the arms lifted to the side, we're able to take a look at the torso. We can turn side to side, lean it right and left as well as crunch forward and extend back. At the legs and hips, we can extend the leg out to the side, rotate the leg, extend that leg forward, move the leg back. The knee is double jointed, giving us a further range of motion. And the cut bicep on the foot allows us to lift and lower the foot as well as turn it from side to side. 
Now that we've looked at articulation, let's take a look at the accessories that come with Captain Carter. First, we have Captain Carter's sword, which is all sculpted and painted in a bright silver and brass and a smooth handle. Below that, her pistol, done in that gunmetal color and with a sculpted handle, giving it the texture and look of wood. In the center of the shield, the Union Jack in the bright reds, blues, and silvers. The additional strap comes separately, as well as the attachment that goes over the harness that allows you to put the shield on the back of the figure. When we flip the shield over, we see the detail there, as well as how this will clip right in. And lastly, our figure comes with the hexagonal display base, featuring our What If logo, the shield, and the Captain Carter nameplate on the front. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Captain Carter six-scale figure by Hot Toys from Marvel's What If. For more information about this figure, follow the link below. And make sure for more six-scale figure action to tune in to Unsealed or Revealed, How to Be a Poser and Strike a Pose. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your Geek Side show. Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Thanks for watching and don't forget to let your geek side show.